This is a brief explanation of the depletion interaction. I will explain the origin of the depletion effect by regarding colloidal hard spheres in a solution of non-adsorbing polymers. Note that there is excluded volume repulsion between the colloidal spheres themselves and between the polymers and the colloidal spheres. When the polymers do not adsorb, there is a depletion zone near the surface of the colloidal particles due to a loss of entropy of the polymers in the depletion zone. These depletion layers are indicated by the dashed circles around the spheres. The mechanism that is responsible for the attraction originates from the presence of these depletion layers. When the depletion zones overlap, the polymers simply cannot enter the gap between the spheres. Now the osmotic pressure of the polymer chains gets unbalanced. Hence, the polymers push the particles together because of an unbalanced osmotic pressure. At the same time, the volume available for the polymer chains increases when the depletion zones overlap. Once again, I show what happens. It follows that the free energy of the polymers is minimized by states in which the colloidal spheres are close together. The effect of this is just as if there were an attractive force between the spheres, even while the direct colloid colloid and colloid polymer interactions are repulsive. It is in fact attraction through repulsion or indirect attraction. The range and depth of the effective attractive depletion interaction can be tuned by changing the size and concentration of the depletants. This phenomenon was first theoretically explained and predicted by Ozawa and Asakura in 1954 at Nagoya University in Japan. The depletion force gives rise to phase transitions where polymers are enriched in one phase and the colloids are the colloidal particles are concentrated in the other phase. The mechanism works just as well for other colloidal mixtures when there is no adsorption, including mixtures of big and small colloidal spheres. In case of mixtures of colloidal rods, like viruses for instance, the addition of non-adsorbing polymers can induce the well-known isotropic pneumatic phase transition at very low rod concentrations. If you would like to learn more on the depletion interaction and the resulting phase behavior, please check our book Colloids and the Depletion Interaction. This is the cover of our book, as well as the link to the website of the publisher Springer.